Hi, good morning. I welcome you all to this session of uh, use of batch for remedies in practice. I'm Dr. Amit Karkare. I'm practicing uh, in Pune since 1999. I passed out from Dundu Mama Sathe Homeopathy Medical College in Pune. And it's been more than 20 years now that I'm practicing in Pune. I uh, was certified as Bachelor Practitioner uh, from British Institute of Homeopathy in 2006. And coincidentally, I was the first Indian to uh, get this certification. Uh, in 2015, I completed uh, my advanced training in Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy from Albert Ellis Institute. And I've been using both these uh, techniques along with homeopathy uh, to take care of my patients since then. So why we are here today uh, is, is this. We always try to find out a similimum for every case. And uh, even though I have been practicing for 20 years, uh, it is as challenging as uh, it might be for you or it might be more challenging for me uh, compared to you. Uh, so we uh, obviously, but every every homeopathic physician or every doctor tries to find out a similimum, similimum which can uh, give us the ideal cure, which is rapid, gentle and permanent. But many a times, uh, whenever a patient presents with his symptoms, whenever you take out the totality and you try to find out remedies, uh, you find out this. This is the reality that there are many keys which are scattered around you and it's very difficult to find that particular master key which can unlock uh, that particular case. Uh, so many homeopathic doctors, they do a number of things. Uh, a few of them might just try two or three remedy, two or three keys together by giving polypharmacy. Uh, some they just go on giving any remedy. Uh, some will wait uh, by giving placebo and they will try to explore and study the case more, uh, which is the ideal way, obviously. Uh, but and some will just uh, give some uh, some combination or some uh, some ready-made solution. So it's, it's always a difficulty uh, that everybody faces, like uh, whenever you don't have any, uh, uh, and the difficulty is more deep or difficulty is more challenging, when you actually have symptoms, especially the mental symptoms, you actually have uh, very classical mental symptoms that the patient is telling you, but you can't find the right remedy. You do, you can't classify between whether this is an atrium or whether this is a magnesium or whether uh, this is an orum or whether what, what, what. So is it, uh, or uh, which kind of kingdom it is, and all those things. So, uh, from from whichever uh, school of obviously that you uh, you belong, it, it's always difficult to uh, get the remedy uh, many times. Uh, even though you have uh, very characteristic, very prominent, very individualistic mental symptoms around. Uh, I think batch for remedies can help you with this, uh, in this situation. When you can't find a specific homeopathic remedy, possibly batch for remedies will uh, be able to help you uh, to help with that case. So we will try to see uh, how bachelor remedies can help us as homeopathic doctors uh, or even for that matter, uh, I have been training people in bachelor remedies for last uh, more than 10 years now and many Ayurvedic doctors or many uh, psychologists, they have taken training from me uh, to, and they, use, they have been using these uh, remedies uh, very effectively in their practice. Uh, when I say this, uh, there are uh, obviously many of you might have uh, used bachelor remedies uh, in, in your practice. Uh, the most commonly used remedy is rescue remedy. In fact, it is so common that people don't know that it's a part of it's a part part of bachelor remedies, but still they have been using it. So even if you lay people, they use rescue remedy uh, very leniently uh, in in, the, in their life. And that's one of the most common and very, very popular rem bachelor remedy, uh, rescue remedy. Few of them, they, they just use few remedies. Like they, they use crab apple for skin. They use uh, mimulus for fear and all those things. So uh, typically what I have seen uh, in people who meet me uh, in my training courses is uh, they have a limited number of remedies out of those 30 remedies that they have been using or they have been using those remedies in a uh, in a typical manner so in this next few minutes we'll try to explore uh, in what ways you can uh, use those remedies in what ways the remedies can help you and in what ways 
they can actually improve the quality of your practice uh, uh, and when they have been used with uh, deep acting homeopathic constitutional remedies or deep acting remedies. So we will we'll try to explore all these things. But before we uh, go further with bachelor remedies, let's, let's know something about Dr. Batch. Uh, Dr. Batch was a pathologist and a very keen observer. So he was uh, working as a pathologist in uh, a, a big hospital in London. And what he found out was uh, he was a keen observer. So apart from doing his regular duties, he was trying to uh, find uh, something more than uh, what, what was usually thought about. So uh, he, what, what he found was uh, there is a typical bacterial flora which each and every person has or possesses and the nature or the temperament of the person was matching with the bacterial flora of that person. Like for example, of a particular bacterial flora, people with a particular bacterial flora uh, in their intestines uh, were anxious people. There were few people who had a typical bacterial, uh, some different kind of bacterial flora. Uh, they were very... Uh, aggressive and angry kind of people. So he found out that there is something, some link between uh, the temperament of the person uh, and the the bacteria or the bacterial flora or uh, what we now call as by microbiome. Uh, so the, there is some link between uh, your your the the bacteria as they, they live, who live in your gut and your temperament. So he first tried to. Uh, form vaccines out of those bacterial flora and he was uh, trying to experiment whether he can use those vaccines so that he can treat the temperamental issues of those people. Uh, at the same time, during during the same time when he was actually working on these, uh, these assumptions, these postulations, uh, he came across homeopathy. He came across few books written by Samuel Hahnemann and uh, he, he thought that okay, this is a better way of uh, using our theory. So instead of using vaccines, we can potentize that bacterial flora and we can actually uh, create uh, what now we call it as nosodes. So he created a few nosodes, which now we know that them as bowel nosodes. So if you have heard of bowel nosodes, uh, most of them were uh, were prepared by Dr. Edward Batch uh, of the same Batch for Remedy Wala, uh, Dr. Batch. Uh, so uh, those were prepared by Dr. Batch and we still use, I, I use certain bowel nose words very, uh, and they give me a very fantastic result. Uh, we can have a session on that as well later on if Jidnesa can uh, allow me. Okay, uh, but he was trying to find out uh, a, a, a method which was uh, more natural, more simple and safe. In that he was more to more keen on the simple thing. Uh, when I say simple, uh, a homeopathic doctor will obviously will understand why simple. Uh, homeopathy is effective, very effective, uh, but at times it becomes very difficult to find out the remedy. So he wanted a method which can be as simple as anybody who doesn't have any strong medical background also should be able to practice uh, that particular healing method effectively. So he was trying to find that and uh, so that the method will go to each and every household. During that time in 1928, uh, he was diagnosed with uh, cancer and he was told that you have hardly three or four months to leave. So instead of doing a practice uh, at Harvey Street, Harley Street, he thought that uh, let's devote uh, whatever time that I have left with, uh, let's devote that to, you know, to find a method which is simple, natural and safe. Uh, so he tried to uh, experiment with flowers uh, which were natural. And he came up with certain flower remedies. He, he experimented them on people. Uh, he found out results and he documented them uh, very keenly. And he went on doing experiments and experiments. And he, got, he was trying to find out more and more remedies. And he was so engrossed with his mission of his life that the person who was told that he you, you, are, you can only live for three or four months, he lived for more than eight years. So he expired in 1936. And he expired after completing his work on bachelor remedy. So this is uh, his biggest contribution to the world that uh, these 30th remedies and rescue remedy, uh, they have been helping people to heal themselves and heal other people out of all kinds of emotional disturbances that uh, we can find. The biggest advantages of uh, bachelor remedies is uh, it is very natural and simple. Uh, 
there are no side effects when i say side effects uh, there are no medicinal aggravations there are no uh, no kinds of aggravations so even though you give uh, very frequent doses uh, it won't cause any uh, medicinal aggravation uh, it can treat subtle disturbances as well like for example you are just feeling jittery when uh, you are about to uh give a lecture or you are going to come on facebook live if you are fine uh, if you if you feel yourself uh, little anxious uh, still you can take some some flower remedies uh some of, some of you might uh, say that okay we have argentum natricum for such kind of things uh so yeah we have argentum natricum in, in homeopathy uh, so what's what's advantage of batch flower remedies argentum natricum can be used for uh the anxiety that you get before a performance so it's a performance anxiety and when you feel anxious when you feel whether you will be able to perform and so argentum natricum helps you with that but uh, when you have uh, a typical nature uh, and you which is not a disease which is not a symptom but it's a temperamental issues that you have uh, flower remedies can even help you with that i will tell you certain examples in in the next few minutes and you will understand what what i mean by subtle disturbances so your uh, every every person has a has a typical temperament and every temperament will have certain positive and negative qualities and you can with the the negative qualities will either disturb you or they can disturb other people and those qualities can be uh, taken care by using uh, an appropriate uh, batch for remedy for those qualities uh, it can be used uh, as a as a adjunct therapy with uh, homeopathy Uh, so you can give a constitutional or deep acting remedy one dose and along with that uh, instead of uh, giving a placebo or instead of giving some you can give a batch flower combination which suits the temperament of that patient and i will tell you my experience it it acts wonderfully because batch flower remedies they uh, they act by uh, making you more and more open in your system uh, they open your system so they make you more receptive so uh it's 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 my experience for last 10 15 years that after giving flower remedies patient usually uh becomes more receptive to the medicine that has been given to him or her uh the biggest advantage is uh they are available worldwide officially so there are websites uh, which can uh, give you uh, ready made batch for combinations that uh, they can tailor made combinations for you and you can send the medicines across across the globe uh, through those websites so that's another advantage in current world where uh, we have been treating patients across the globe uh what is the difference and uh, what are the main uh, pros and cons of homeopathy and batch flower remedies uh there are 38 remedies and a rescue remedy in batch flower remedies so you have a choice of only 38 remedies so you have to only select out of 38 remedies whereas in homeopathy you have so many there are hundreds and thousands of medicines that you can choose uh from so it becomes slightly easier to uh, find a remedy uh you don't have to find a one master key but there is no one similimum in batch flower remedies you can you can form combinations because we all are our temperaments all are are always uh, a combination of certain traits that we show uh, so you have to find a batch flower remedy which suits to that particular trait and then you have to form a combination for every every patient as i said there are no medicinal aggravations so uh you can uh, safely you can fearlessly you can give uh, medicines uh, in any dose or any potency in fact there is no potency in batch flower remedies so uh, there is hardly any uh, difficulty with the posology uh, there is no potency or dosage dilemma uh, if you are prescribing for some acute uh, this thing where you are uh, if if your patient is appearing for an interview on the next day uh, you give it every every hourly or half an hourly or 15 minutes interval if you are prescribing for a temperamental issues you can give it twice a day or once a day or four times a day so depends on uh, your experience and your judgment but you can uh, choose uh, the dosage as per but that, that dose will not cause any kind of uh, medicinal aggravation but i found um, in my practice is uh, homeopathy is definitely much deeper the the magic that one dose of a similimum the right homeopathic medicine which has been given in the right potency and repetition uh can do really wonderful results something that possibly batch flower remedies can achieve by giving them for 3 or 4 months so what batch flower medicines can achieve in 2 or 3 4 months 
homeopathy uh, or is typically the similimum can achieve within just one dose that's that's what i've seen in my in my practice so homeopathy is much deeper it's uh, it can hit the bull's eye only thing is at times it becomes uh, for a person like me it can become difficult to find that similimum uh, which can hit the bull's eye so uh, it it becomes easier to take help of batch for remedies as well uh so how to practice batch for remedies or uh, even if you know you have read uh the best way of practicing or studying batch for remedy is keep them simple uh just don't try to find out why that person is anxious why somebody is cruel why what has happened in his childhood or what has uh what happened in the past which is actually influencing his present temperamental thing don't 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 do any psychodynamic psychoanalytical things just keep it simple if somebody is anxious somebody is having a specific fear give him mimulus mimulus is a remedy for specific fears so you give him a specific remedy a, a, a particular remedy which has been indicated for that particular trait and that's all so you find out a combination which suits that particular person's uh, different qualities and that's all uh, there are people around uh, around you you have your neighbors you have friends you have your family members you have your colleagues your teachers and whenever you will learn any flower remedy or there are 38 remedies uh, you will obviously think about that particular person so keep that keep in mind that person so that you will remember the uh, uh, the traits of that remedy or the qualities of that remedy and you can apply them to the other people as well so we'll we'll try to learn few remedies few flower remedies and we'll try to uh, try to link them with certain personalities as well that's what i like i i'm a i am a diehard movie fan so i like to uh, see whether i can connect these traits to some movie characters or uh, movie personality so we'll do one or two in this in, in the next few uh, few minutes uh, you might have heard uh, about batch or remedies you might have practiced them but you don't uh, you won't practice them with conviction until and unless you start believing in believing in them and i think the belief will come only when you get uh, the miraculous results that you were uh, that can stun you that can make you surprised and uh, one of the ugliest results that i found uh, was with a remedy called cherry plum cherry plum is for control so the control is the key of cherry plum uh, so uh, i will tell you that case uh, there was one small girl child uh, she was i think 7 years old uh, she was referred to me in the epilepsy clinic of sayadri hospital and she had a secondary aneurysm as well so uh, when i asked uh, the father who was accompanying her he said that uh, she has secondary aneurysm because she is shit scared of her mother and i was surprised and i said ki kyun aisa hota hai kyun 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 wo itna darti hai ही सेट कि वो बिल्कुल उसके माँ से इतना डरती है कि वो उस जब वो माँ किसी भी रूम में रहती है तो शी विल नॉट एंटर दैट रूम बिकॉज द मदर इज़ वेरी एग्रेसिव एंड ही सेट एग्रेसिव इज़ अ वेरी माइल्ड वर्ड शी इज़ वॉयलेंट शी इज़ वॉयलेंट टू द लेवल दैट इफ दिस चाइल्ड मेक्स एनी मिस्टेक इन होमवर्क शी विल हिट हर विथ विथ एनी थिंग दैट इज इन हर हैंड एंड शी हैज़ एक्चुअली physically injured that child an uh, n number of times uh, the violence or the aggression and the anger is not only limited with the home but it it's it spills over uh, on the road as well so if somebody is not following traffic rules she will abuse that person in on in the road and she can actually have a physical fight uh, on the roads so they had taken her to uh, uh, to a psychiatrist he prescribed uh, certain remedies but then she used to find it very difficult to uh follow that particular uh, treatment because of some reasons so so they they stopped it and uh, he said ki if you can do something for her as well we will be grateful i couldn't find uh, any specific homeopathic remedy from that particular uh history but i was i was learning flower remedies uh, during that time this is 2000 i think 2004 2005 and uh, i i prescribed cherry plum to her i prescribed cherry plum uh, and few other two or three flower remedies uh, cherry plum was for control so uh, he had said that she goes into a violent outburst of anger and then she realizes later on and she repents but sh- the problem with her is she cannot control so whenever you have a problem that you can't control 
any emotion. It can be an anger, it can be a weeping, it can be even uh, even your uh, your happiness. There are people who are so happy that they can't control and they will do certain things which they will repent on later. So whenever the the the, the key to cherry plum is control. So whenever you need control, uh, you give cherry plum. So I prescribed cherry plum to her and she took it for two or three months and very surprisingly uh, he said that she completely stopped with those anger outbursts after taking those flower remedy combination. I was not very uh, convinced and not very confident about how the medicine will act because she was really very very aggressive but cherry plum did the magic and I really started believing in flower remedies that yeah they can work and they can really make a person a completely different person that uh, that you are today so uh, i always urge my students and my colleagues that do go on prescribing flower remedies and whenever you see, you will see the results then you will start believing so because it's always the the belief will always start after you try them and you get the results so uh, that's how uh, you can actually go ahead but there is one question that we always uh, try to fight with is uh, how do they decide which remedy will work on which uh, temperament or which trait or which uh, emotion or which feeling or which uh, behavioral trait. Uh, in homeopathy we have drug proving, in flower remedies there was no drug proving as such. So all the remedies, most of the remedies have been uh, have been studied on doctrine of signatures. So what is doctrine of signature? We we'll try to see a uh, few remedies and then we'll try to see the doctrine of signature as well. Uh, so if I'm showing you this plant, uh, uh, can you can you identify uh, any uh, qualities of these flowers, any qualities of this plant? Uh, so obviously uh, I, can't, I can't wait you to uh, answer this thing, I will have to answer. Uh, so the, the most striking feature of this plant is, uh, these are the white flowers uh, which are uh, attached to a stem which is coming uh, very high from the rest of the plant. So the rest of the plant is and that, that long stem it's coming out and there are white flowers which are uh, placed slightly higher level at a high, very higher level slightly higher level from the rest of the plant. Uh, the homeopathy friends of mine will obviously think about platina. Yeah, it's, it's similar to the platina. This remedy is called as water violet. Water violet, these these uh, these flowers are slightly higher than the rest of the plant, and these people also feel that they are different, they are superior, they are better than uh, the, the the usual community. Uh, they are better than the group that they belong. So actually, they don't belong to that particular group. In fact, they are much better than that particular group. So people who feel superior, uh, like platina, uh, who can be helped with giving water violet. So water violet can help platina to lose her ego and superiority and uh, all those kinds of traits but it's not only superiority that can uh, help you to select water wallet water wallet also can be used for people who might not have superiority but they are socially aloof so the these are the negative qualities of uh, water wallet superiority and social aloofness and the positive quality you know, some a quality that water wallet remedy can give you is social connect so this is the remedy which can help you to connect with the society around so people who find it difficult to connect with their surrounding because they are superior they, they feel superior or because of some any other any other particular reason uh, water wallet can be uh, the remedy that can be used so i have been uh, giving water wallet to people who find it difficult to get connected with the surrounding uh, again i would say they are not always superior they, they might not have superiority always so don't don't connect platina with water wallet uh, we i usually uh, discourage people to connect flower remedies with homeopathic remedies you can think about certain homeopathic remedies just to memorize those flower remedies but don't uh, make it a habit or don't make it uh, a must so uh, platina is not water wallet but water wallet shows certain qualities of platina like superiority but it can also be given to people who uh, may not have superiority but they have some difficulties with mixing in society and if you can give water wallet they can mix well uh, with people around that's the next plant uh, which is called as honeysuckle and if you see the petals the petals are actually bending backwards so this is a typical 
feature of this plant or this flower that the petals they don't go forward like the usual flowering uh, patterns they usually go backwards and these are the people who are constantly connected with their past uh, they will always think that the past was better aap aap lakhnow mein jaiye aap delhi mein jaiye aap india mein kahin pe bhi jaiye aapko aise log milenge jo aapko bolenge yaar wo jo pehle wala jo tha na wahi kaafi acha tha jab hum school mein the tab kya pune mein hawa thi ha ha hai जब हम कॉलेज में थे तब क्या ये था अरे क्या कॉलेज था हमारा आप भी अभी तो सब बिगड़ गया अभी तो सब बदल गया एंड नाउ देर इज नथिंग गुड विच इज हैपनिंग जब हम थे बचपन में जब ये थे सो ऑल दोज पीपल यू फील दो हु विल हु विल बोर यू विद देयर देयर पास एक्सपीरियंसेस हु विल बोर यू विद देयर हम जिनको हम वी फील लाइक टेल इन दैम दैट अरे यार कभी तो पास से बाहर आके यहाँ आ जाओ यार के अभी क्या चल रहा है अच्छा चल रहा है ये देखो यू आर टॉकिंग टू देम अबाउट अरिजीत सिंह एंड देविल से कि यार यार सैगल क्या गाते थे हाँ यार सैगल काफ़ी अच्छा गाते थे ही वॉज द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट सिंगर्स दैट दैट इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री हैज प्रोड्यूस बट अरिजीत सिंह भी अच्छा गाता है यार उसको भी सुनो थोड़ा सा क्यों सिर्फ सैगल को लेके बैठते हो सो पीपल हु विल नॉट लिसन टू अरिजीत सिंह बिकॉज दे आर Uh, they have strong ties with Sahgal or Kishore Kumar or Rafi Saab. These were stalwarts. These were legends. But Arjit Singh bhi acha gaata hai. Baaki bhi log acha gaata hai. Unka bhi suno. So music suno. Kyu past mein hi atke rehte ho. So all those people who have been atko fired in past can be given honey circle, so that you can bring them to present uh, by cutting their ties with their past. By this you can also use honey circle in पीपल जहाँ पे आ, कुछ पास्ट के एक्सपीरियंसेस पास्ट के कुछ इवेंट्स हुए हैं जो उस पर काफ़ी इन्फ्लुएंस करते हैं और आपको लगता है कि अगर वो उन उन इन्फ्लुएंसेस को या फिर उन इवेंट्स को भूल जाए जिससे उनको आगे जाने में आसानी होगी सो हनी सर्कल कैन हेल्प यू विद दैट सो देर आर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैड अ फ्रेंड इन योर कॉलेज एंड यू हैड अ फाइट विद दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन and after 10 15 years you join a company or you join an organization or you join uh, uh, some medical institute or you join a college as a lecturer and you find out the same person who is working in the same department so jinse aapka jhagda hua tha 10 saal pehle wahi wahi pe hai and then you are supposed to work with the same person again and you can't come out of those past experiences that the person had jo 20 saal 10 saal 15 saal pehle hua tha if that is influencing you and making it difficult for you to uh, to be productive then honey circle can be a remedy so honey circle basically can help you with forgetting the past influences and start the things again uh, completely anew so uh, again as i said i'm a i'm a i'm a movie fan so i will always uh, remember i will try to give examples from movie so there is a song in hindi movies thoda sa purana song hai honey circle ki baat kar rahe to thoda sa purani hi baat hogi सो so, एक पुराना हिंदी फिल्म का सॉन्ग है चलो एक बार फिर से अजनबी बन जाए हम दोनों दैट्स द थिंग दैट हनी सर्कल कैन हेल्प यू विथ कि लेट्स फॉरगेट अबाउट आवर पास्ट एंड फिर से अजनबी बन जाए फिर से हर एक को एक्सप्लोर करने की कोशिश करेंगे एक दूसरे को और फिर से देखने की कोशिश करेंगे क्योंकि अब अब दस बारह साल के बाद बिकॉज वी हैव मैच्योर्ड सो कॉल्ड और वी आर सपोज टू मैच्योर्ड आफ्टर टेन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स उसके बाद शायद हमारी जम जाए और कुछ अच्छा काम हो जाए हम दोनों से लेकिन अगर वो नहीं हो पा रहा है तो हनी सर्कल कैन हेल्प यू टू फॉरगेट दोज पास्ट इवेंट्स एंड स्टार्ट अ फ्रेश द नेक्स्ट फ्लावर दैट वी सी इज अ टिपिकल फ्लावर जहाँ पे विथ एवरी फ्लावर देर आर टू ब्रांचेस विच आर कमिंग आउट एंड दे आर गिविंग अनदर फ्यू फ्लावर्स सो दैट्स अ टिपिकल स्क्लेरेंथस दे आर देर आर ऑलवेज टू ब्रांचेस देर आर ऑलवेज टू चॉइसिस दैट द स्लेरेंथस fights with and whenever there are choices it aggravates a scleranthus person so i always give a example that scleranthus person or if you if you are as a student if you are a scleranthus uh, you can write a full question of 18 marks very easily because it's a subjective thing you have to just express yourself but whenever you come to that mcq part when there are only four options to one question uh, actually answers have been given to you but whenever there are choices whenever there are options uh scleranthus finds it very difficult to uh to to select a right choice 
so scleranthes is a remedy where choices will aggravate so when you have a choice of whether to go for you you appear for md and then you are given ki aapko repertory mein md karna hai ya mm mein md karna hai and you when if you are finding it difficult to decide take scleranthes few of you might use scleranthes in your early or even later stages of homeopathic practice jab आपको पता नहीं चलता कि यार ये चार रेमेडीज में से कौन सी रेमेडी सूट होगी पेशेंट को वहां पे भी स्क्लेरेंथस आपको आ, मदद कर सकता है स्क्लेरेंथस इज ऑल्सो गिवन फॉर पीपल हु आर चेंजेबल सो पीपल हु विल चेंज देयर मूड दे विल चेंज देयर डिसीजंस सो दे कैन बी हेल्प विच स्क्लेरेंथस सो व्हाट स्क्लेरेंथस गिव्स एज अ पॉजिटिव क्वालिटी इज स्टेबिलिटी सो स्क्लेरेंथस विल गिव यू स्टेबिलिटी टू योर थिंकिंग प्रोसेस इट विल हेल्प यू टू चूज द राइट चॉइस फॉर यू or to stay with that choice uh, whatever choice that you have chosen whatever option that you have chosen it will help you to st- stably stay with that particular choice and it will help you to uh, reduce your insecurity uh, your restlessness whenever choices are offered to you so scleranthus is a remedy for uh, not being able to choose the right choice uh, whenever you feel confused whenever there are two or three choices so whenever you are confused which which remedy to give Uh, try taking scleranthus if you if it's a pattern try taking scleranthus and i think uh, it can help you in your homeopathic practice as well and there is this man uh, whenever i'm thinking about uh, films i can't skip this person he is the legend he is the one from from whom i got my name amit uh, he is mr amitabh bachchan and uh, apart from his acting capacities and acting uh, credentials i would say Uh, what i like the most uh, why why i respect this person the most is uh, his particular nature of uh, consistency and punctuality he is known to be very punctual he always reaches the set in time hardly ever he has reached late and uh, that's that's that 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 makes that person so he has reached to a level where he can actually it can throw whims and he can throw tantrums and all those things but he doesn't do that but but what makes it uh, more important to discuss with the flower remedy thing is this trait of his uh, he suffered an accident during uh, shooting of kuli 38 years back and since that incident when when he returned home every sunday evening at 5:30 or 6 o'clock uh, he meets his fans uh, every sunday evening so for 38 years he has been doing that consistently can you imagine that can you do anything for 38 years every sunday no even if you are told that you will be you uh, will will go uh, you will do party every every sunday evening it becomes difficult for us to do that for 38 years imagine 38 into 52 uh, these many times that he has done that and he does it every sunday every sunday he will uh, meet his fans for few minutes and he will post the pictures like this picture on his twitter or on his facebook for us 12 years he has been writing a blog every day can you imagine that 12 years 12 into 365 days uh, and few leap years as well so he has been writing a blog every day do you do anything which every day for 12 years no no we can't do that even if you want to meet on katta we don't even do that every day uh, we usually find some difficulty but here wherever he is he has been writing blog every day and in a very very fluent and very amazing language uh, he has been writing blog for 12 years he has been tweeting for 8 years and every day he tweets something uh, recently he also tweeted about homeopathy for he uh, so he has been tweeting for 8 years so meeting his fans every sunday for 38 years 12 years of blogging 8 years of tweeting because he is in a positive positive state of rock water he doesn't need any medicine he doesn't need any medicine to correct himself but this is a positive state of rock water where you are disciplined you are positively disciplined and you follow a fixed routine a rigid possibly a rigid but a fixed routine a routine uh, that you that's a part and parcel of your nature it's a part and parcel of your trait and uh, that makes you and you actually uh, find energy from that particular disciplined routine so if you ask me about amitabh bachchan mr amitabh bachchan is a very disciplined person and it's that discipline which has made him the living legend that he is today so if somebody asks me what remedy i will give to mr amitabh bachchan from flower remedies i will prescribe rock water to him 
because I want to I want him to stay in that positive state of rock water. So what is a negative state? When this discipline and rigidity goes beyond a certain limit and it crosses that limit and it becomes more and more difficult for other people to follow that discipline and follow that rigidity. When something makes it difficult for you to uh, find comfortable if you can't follow that particular thing. Like for example, if you can't write a blog or can't meet uh, people on Sunday and if that makes him very disturbed, then possibly he will need to take uh, rock water because rock water as a positive quality will give him flexibility that at times it might be possible that you might not follow uh, your disciplined pattern but uh, it happens it happens but when you are following that for 38 years it's obviously but that's a rock water so I feel uh, not as a negative trait again and again I would say but because he is in a positive state of rock water so every flower abilities they have a positive state as well as a negative state. So positive state will help you, positive state will energize, energize you, positive state will uh, make you more productive. So he is very, very productive because he is in a positive state of rock water which is making him a very consistent and disciplined person that he is and that consistent disciplined uh, efforts that he has been putting in is something that makes him the legend that he is today. So that's Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Uh, there is a lot to learn from him apart from the acting. Acting is something that we can't do like him but we can definitely follow that disciplined manner or disciplined life. Uh, there is one question that is often asked uh, with flower remedies is can you use these remedies for physical ailments? Uh, typically all the flower remedies are chosen by a particular emotional feeling or emotional or behavioral trait. Uh, so can we use them for physical ailments? Yes, they can. You I have been using them with physical ailments only if uh, I can uh, see any specific uh, psychological or feeling or thought or a behavioral pattern with that physical ailment. I will give you an example. Uh, so we discussed about cherry plum with the lady that I, I had described my for one of the first few cases. Cherry plum will uh, be given for control. And whenever do you lose a control and that's your physical element, then cherry plum can be used. So for example, uh, imagine aloe diarrhea, diarrhea of aloe socotrina. Uh, so diarrhea is such that you, it, it's very, there is an insecurity at the, at the anal region. You feel, the patient feels like uh, he might just pass stools uh, involuntarily. So that's, that's cherry plum state as well. There is no loss of control. There is a fear that he will lose the control. Uh, there is stress incontinence in elderly ladies, especially menopausal ladies, where uh, whenever they cough or sneeze or causticum kind of cough, where whenever the, the patient coughs, uh, he or she passes a few drops of urine. So that's the that is a loss of control over sphincter, uh, the, the urinary sphincters. Uh, so uh, so there also you can use cherry plum. So cherry plum can be used for anywhere where you want to give control to, uh, to when you are want to add control in your patient's life. Uh, Mimulus is for specific fears and whenever somebody has an allergy and when the person shows the fear of that particular allergen, like for example, the child has an allergy of nuts or uh, some, some particular food item and the child is fearful about ingesting those items uh, by mistake. So there, when there, whenever there is a fear, uh, Mimulus can help with uh, the fear as well as to the allergies as well. So these medicines can be used for physical ailments if you can connect them with uh, that particular emotion that they represent. If that emotion is present along with the physical ailment, you can very well prescribe these remedies for uh, physical ailments. I have been using these remedies very well in plants and animals. Uh, I have few dogs as my patients uh, all across India and I think few in the US as well. Uh, to whom I have been prescribing remedies uh, for certain behavioral modifications. Uh, so walnut can be used uh, for plants who have been uh, reported to some other this thing. So if you uh, if a pot gets broken or if you want to shift the plant from one pot to another plot that is a change for which walnut can be used. Olive is uh, for uh, for a drained condition. So typically the current summer conditions where uh, because of the summer and the heat the plants they feel drained, they feel uh, completely loss of vital fluids. 
So olive can be used, olive can be added to uh, the water when you are watering the plants. Uh, crab apple has been used very well uh, uh, whenever there are certain insects or pests on the plant. So it can be used uh, as a kind of pesticide which can be sprayed or it can be added to the water. Holly uh, is, a, is a revengeful person. So dogs and cats who are very revengeful to the new uh, pet in your house or they are very revengeful when uh, whenever they are revengeful you can give holly mimulus is for fear so dogs who are fearful at times there are dogs who are very fearful uh, you can give mimulus star of bethlehem can be given to dogs whenever they are in shock and uh, or if if a plant uh, suddenly a a, a plant uh, breaks down koi usko dhakka de deta hai wo niche gir jata hai and when you want to shift the plant to the, to the new pot because the earlier one got broken, you can add walnut as well as you can add star of Bethlehem because that is a shock to the plant which you want to uh, help him or help the plant with. Heather is uh, the dogs and the cats who are uh, who are very talkative. Talkative in the sense they will not let you to talk. They will only will try to. Uh, get your attention and they will only only day you have to listen to them rather than uh, so we have a dog and she will always uh, will uh, what I should, I, I should say uh, we have a dog who has uh, a habit of uh, whenever I come home she I have to listen to her whatever she is she wants to tell me and then only I can uh, uh, I can just take a wash and all those things so that's kind that's the kind of heather uh, trait that you have to listen to them so they will always uh, pester you with their uh, with their talk uh, chicory are the selfish ones so most of the cats they need chicory and water wallet cats they feel socially aloof and superior than other people and chicory is they are selfish cats are very selfish uh, i love cats but still they are selfish uh, so they are self centered selfish they are hardly they, it hardly matters whether you had a tiring day or you had a bad day, they will not they will not look at you. Uh, dogs are very uh, they are very affectionate. Cats are not typically affectionate. Uh, they are very selfish. They are very self centered. They are very they are very superiority oriented people, and so uh, very aloof. So cats can be helped with chicory and water wallet. So you can use these uh, remedies for plants as well as animals as well. And then one mention about rescue remedy. Because there are many people who use rescue remedy very leniently. And when you use it leniently, it doesn't help. Uh, people just give rescue remedy when they can't think about any other remedy. And which is the, not the right way to uh, prescribe flower remedies. Rescue remedy has to be given when uh, there is a need to be rescued from that particular situation. So whenever there is a emergency situation, when there is a situation of a shock, when there is a situation of a intense grief, where you feel like let somebody come and rescue me from this situation. That's the situation where rescue remedy will help you. If you are just going somewhere and something happens and you are mildly disturbed, rescue remedy won't help you because you are mildly disturbed. There is nothing to get rescued from. So rescue remedy will not help you. So always, always try to, when, if you are practicing or if you are prescribing rescue remedy, I would suggest give rescue remedy only when uh, a situation demands that uh, the patient is saying that please rescue me from this condition please help me uh, he is uh, very very he's in anguish he's in a terrible state of uh, anguish terrible state of uh, pain and he or she wants to wants you to get rescued from uh, she wants to get rescued from that particular situation is she's begging and praying to you that's the situation where rescue remedy can be helpful so it's an intense situation uh, where uh, there is a need of rescue then only use rescue so it's a rescue remedy should be used to rescue somebody not to just for any uh, smallest pain and smallest uh, emotional disturbance so don't use it for subtle emotions use it for uh, for rescue uh, most important practical questions is uh, how you should give these remedies that that's the last part of the discussion today so how to give these remedies because those remedies are available in any homeopathic pharmacy. Uh, so you can use those remedies. Dosage is uh, if you are using the, the Indian medicines that you uh, you get in the homeopathic pharmacies, they can be used to medicate uh, the homeopathic pills that we give. 
and you can give four times a day or three times a day it depends on how fast you want the result but obviously if you are work if you are giving the remedy for your personality trait if you are taking the remedy for a personality trait uh, it might not uh, you might not uh, get the result immediately you might have to take it for a few months and then you will find the results how to take the remedies you can either mix a uh, few drops of each remedy uh, you can form a combination based on uh, what traits that you want to uh, treat or you want to change and you can add those uh, remedies few drops of the remedy to a uh, to a liter of water and you can drink that water over a period of the day or you can add those remedies to a medical uh, homeopathic pills and you can take two pills or four pills four times a day how does it act it acts on uh, your unresolved negative emotions uh, everybody has a trait where uh, there are certain negative emotions if we can resolve them on on our own you don't need any remedy but there are if there are unresolved negative emotions which are making it difficult for you to to function then only you should prescribe these remedies so if i lose my very near and dear friend obviously i am supposed to find myself in a very deep grief so if i'm if i'm in grief for one or two days that's natural thing but if i can't come out of that grief naturally then possibly i would need some flower remedy along with the homeopathic remedies that we can prescribe so if something some emotion is making it difficult for me to attain my productivity uh it's making me difficult to function in a particular situation then i can take uh, a, a respective flower remedies or if there are two or three things which are coming together i can take a suitable flower remedy combination uh and i can it can it can help me uh in the first few uh, in the first few slides i was discussing about the subtle uh, disturbances or subtle emotions or subtle temperamental issues uh i will tell you one more one of my experiences uh, i was writing a book 3 uh, or 4 years back and there was a big assignment and i was keeping that assignment uh, aside uh, because i couldn't finish that because i i usually do n number of things at a time that's my problem and i wanted to focus on my uh uh that that book writing assignment so i took scleranthus and wild rose uh, uh sorry scleranthus and wild oat and uh, those two remedies they helped me with focusing on my uh on the on the task that i had in my hand wild wild oat is the remedy which will help you uh to understand your mission or to understand your priority at that particular moment of the time so wild oat is uh help me with uh, prioritizing Uh, to keep me focused on my uh, task in my hand scleranthus helped me to do the right choices uh, so whether should i write or whether should i watch a youtube video or whether should i write or whether should i uh, watch the ipl to match so that was the choices that i we usually have which helps us to go into procrastination ye baad mein karenge so scleranthus helped me with that so scleranthus and wild oat helped me to focus on my part and i could finish off writing that book within 2 months uh, that I, i was writing 2 years back so that was very helpful uh, for me so these are the subtle emotions if you ask me what homeopathic medicines that i should take when i'm doing this uh, i couldn't i couldn't think about any homeopathic remedies so this is that this is something different that that home batch for remedies can offer you apart from homeopathy uh, so this is uh, what i thought that uh, let me share with you in in 30 40 minutes of uh, this session uh i think uh uh i was successful in uh making you understand possibly introduce this flash for remedies to you uh there is obviously a lot more things to discuss uh this is not a topic where we can we can finish it off in 30 40 minutes uh so if you have any uh if you have any uh, queries you can obviously drop me a message and uh just ask me any queries uh, on on batch for remedies and i'm very thankful to jitnasa uh, for giving me this opportunity to uh, to have a conversation with all of you on this such a big forum uh, and thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity and thank you for listening and watching this video uh, for 30 40 minutes